YouTube and fellow Kerbonauts. I am going to do a test video here and see if I can successfully launch one of my older ships I built. Just want to make sure I have everything lined up right. All my stages. Looks like I built a, uh, well, it's a pretty intense ship. I'll just uh, put this on the launch pad and see where she goes. It looks like it may be a tad heavy based on how much crap I have on it. Hopefully I'll be able to get it to orbit. So eventually this ship turned out to be a uh, a prototype for one of my more mature rockets that is a uh, I don't really know what to call it, a multi-planet lander. So I can uh, land once with uh, this part of the rocket, and then I can launch from, say, the Mung and land on Minimus with this rocket. And then I have my escape, my escape pod as well to get myself back to Kerbin. Uh, it looks like this guy is accelerating pretty good. I don't know if I'm gonna actually reach that goal with just these these tanks there I was to cross for you and I want to break them away I see so it looks like the next stage of this rocket will be to break away the, the six boosters on the outside and just rely on this one on the inside I'm not sure if that's gonna make it or not I'll check yeah I might get lucky I'm coming up on uh, just about 10 kilometers, so my ship is going to be more fuel efficient than its burn. I'm not sure when the specific impulse maxes out. I think it's in the vacuum, but the consumption is just slowly going to go down as I get further in, out of the atmosphere. It means the rocket's burning more efficiently. Checking the altitude, it looks like I might be able to make an orbit with this guy. I'm gonna start bringing it to, uh, I'm gonna go 270 this time. Okay. I'm gonna dispose of those and see if. This long, skinny rocket is gonna make it. I'm not sure it is. Oh, well, it's a test video. It's not like I'm getting graded on my performance here. So, just to mess around, I'm gonna take it all the way over to the horizon. Um. I'm getting close to the apoapsis. So, I might be able to make this work. Look at that rocket wiggle. Actually, I think the better solution for this is I'm gonna cut my engines and disengage that old stage and try this lander phase that I built and actually it looks like I'm going to uh, achieve a successful orbit I'm seven seconds from the apoapsis but I think that I might be able to bring it out in time. So, what I'm trying to do is give myself a little bit of constant upward and sideways velocity. It's gonna be a 
close one. I'm not sure if I'll make it. Let's see, these external tanks are out. I wonder if I can disengage those. It looks like I can. I'm just going to shed those off. Now I'm falling. I'm definitely falling towards the surface now. You can see my alt altitude dropping pretty fast. in that orbit widen and see it's getting closer. I don't know if I'll have a really extremely low orbit. Either way, now that I'm uh, re-entering the atmosphere, my ship will eventually slow down due to drag and crash into Kerbin. Oh, how about that? Looks like I, uh, I have a nice, nice orbit, and I'm out of fuel. So I'm going to uh, just move to the next stage and see what kind of stupid stuff I can get myself to do here. Okay. So I made it. I'm uh, 50 kilometers from the surface on my periapsis, and over 200 on my apoapsis. So I have achieved a uh, imperfect orbit because eventually the ship will slow down and crash into the planet, but I did uh, use one of my old ships to get a semi-circular orbit around Kerbin. Now if I wanted to make this right, I would wait till I get to my apoapsis and burn again to bring the periapsis out to about um, 100 kilometers outside of the atmosphere. So with that, uh, thanks for watching.